Well, tonight, 7 News is on your side, pressing D.C. leaders for answers after a violent weekend in the district. At least six people were killed and many others wounded in six separate shootings. The latest incident happening just this afternoon. Our Christian Flores was just a few blocks away when it happened. And here's from the acting police chief and an ANC commissioner about what needs to happen. There's no excuse for it to be happening here in the nation's capital. We have a plethora and abundance of resources. As an ANC commissioner in Southeast DC, Erica Green knows how important it is to make her presence felt in the community, whether it's handing out food or just chatting with her neighbors, especially in the wake of a violent Saturday, which included a mass shooting in Anacostia that killed three people and sent two more to the hospital. Our residents kind of become discouraged. Uh, they feel as though they're kind of not cared about. They're kind of forgotten about. It's kind of like a, well, east of the river, anything goes. As Green was helping her community after this violence, police cars sped past us, responding to gunfire that erupted in a double shooting at Congress Heights, just a few blocks from where Green was. This afternoon shooting happened even while DC Fire and EMS were already in the neighborhood responding to an unrelated call. They ended up being the first to alert police of this shooting. In total, there are at least six shootings scattered across D.C. this weekend, killing at least six people. What would you like to tell police or city leaders that are standing here right now? I would like to ask them to please be more involved, please be more active. I feel as though sort of the general MPD population needs to be more engaged. Um, I think, unfortunately, we're seeing that officers are waiting until it's too late to kind of step out of, step out of the car. 7 News is on your side, taking questions and concerns from the community directly to MPD Acting Chief Pamela Smith after Saturday night's mass shooting. So what's the immediate action after a violent day like today? And what do you say to people who say something's just not working? Well, what I will say is that um, it can't rest upon the Metropolitan Police Department to determine what works and what doesn't work. We need the community to be involved. We need you, to, if you saw something, we need you to say something. This kind of gun violence is not acceptable in the District of Columbia. This is not a war zone. We want our residents to feel safe. And I'm asking you, listen, our officers are where they need to be. Our expectation is that the community will respond to us accordingly so that we can continue to keep your city safe. But what action can MPD take at this point immediately? Well, what we'll do is it, typically what we do after every incident, we'll ensure that we have the appropriate number of officers in this area. In response to rising violent crimes in the city, D.C. Council passed an emergency crime bill last month that increases penalties for certain violent crimes and makes it easier to hold violent crime suspects in jail pre-trial. We can pass laws. We can introduce legislature. People are going to have to be on the ground. You have to handhold. In Congress Heights, Christian Flores, 7 News.